What's up, Pressure Away Gang? Welcome back to my channel, and of course, to all of my new subscribers, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do these beautiful nails and how I encapsulate with IBD Builder Gel. So, if you like to see how I do it, then stay tuned. FYI, this is hair dye on my nails, not dirt. Thank you. Now on to these nails. I already buffed and filed and did my base coat. So now I'm going in with the pointer. And I'm going to do just a plain solid black. And if you remember from my other videos, make sure you do very thin layers of black. Because it will not cure all the way through if it's too thick. After I cure it for 30 seconds, I'm going back in with a second coat. And now I'm doing a matte top coat because I'm going to be doing these foils on this nail. I just got a little bit of foil transfer gel on my brush and I'm going straight down the middle because that's why I want my foil design to be. After I'm done with that, I'm going to put the nail in the lamp for 60 seconds. And when it comes out, you can start putting the foil on it. And I know it's hard to see because I was a little off frame, but I was just folding the foil so I can be precise with exactly where I apply it. I want to do three different colors, the green, the gold, and the red straight down the middle. And if y'all see me fighting with this nail, just mind your business because it was trying to give me a hard time trying to come off the stand and everything, but I got it straight eventually. So yeah, now I'm going in with the gold, press down a little bit, pull it off, same thing with the red. If you get a little extra foil where you don't want it, just go in with the alcohol prep pad, run it down the sides, it'll come straight off. And when I was recording this video, I didn't really have a design in mind. I was just kind of winging it, but I'm happy with how it turned out. So yeah, I'm just going in with this caramel corn color, two coats of that. And then I'm gonna use some stickers so my old stickers from Valentine's Day with the love on it. And then my herb stickers. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. This daggum plant was the hardest to get off of that paper. I mean, I fought and fought with it. I tried to use my little spatula to get it up. Tried to use my pointy tool to get it up. And it just was not working. But anyways, on to the fun part. Now, no, this is not what you think it is. It looks like it. And you could use the real thing if you wanted to, but I'm not. So what you're going to want to do is get you a plate of this green stuff. And I'm shaking it up because I want to separate the larger pieces from the smaller pieces. Because the smaller the pieces... The easier it'll be for me to put on the nail and cover it up with the gel. So I'm going in with a little bit of base coat, not too thick of a layer. I'm not going to cure it, and I'm going to start putting the green on the nails. There's no particular amount that you have to put on a nail. Just do what you feel looks good. Uh, I thought this was about enough. So I cured that for about 60 seconds. And I'm just running my fingers along it to get all the extra pieces that's not stuck or that's sticking up. Now 
Now you're going to want to grab your IBD Builder Gel. I did a video on this before, so if you want to check out how I apply that, then go check that video out. It's kind of the same concept. Except this time, you're actually encapsulating something, so you want to make sure that you cover it fully. You don't want anything sticking out or lumpy, so smooth it out the best way you can. After you have your nail fully covered and smoothed out, you want to make sure that you run your brush along the side of the nail to get any excess builder gel off. And this is very important because if you don't, it will mess up the shape of your nails. After curing, you're gonna to wanna to get you an alcohol prep pad so you can get the sticky layer off and then you can start buffing. And as you're buffing, just kind of run your finger along the top of the nail so you can feel if there's any bumps or lumps in there. And you can continue to target that area because you want the nail to be as smooth as possible. After you're satisfied with your buffing, go in with your dusting brush, dust it off, and then hit it with your best top coat. showing you guys this is how you want your nail to look very smooth i decided to encapsulate the thumbnail as well so i'm just gonna let you guys watch it's the same concept that i did with the other nail And 
then for the pinky finger, I decided I'm going to do this really bright red. I'm going to go in with two coats. And that's going to be it for the design. I'm covering all of them again with a top coat just to finish it off. And I'm probably going to cure it for 90 seconds. I absolutely love these. I think they're so cute. I always wanted to do nails like these where you encapsulate the little, the herbs, the 420 vibes. I think it's really cute. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys learned something from it. Please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that if you want to. And yeah, thank you for watching. Please share with your friends. Tell them to come on over to Press Your Way Game.